Nothing is more frustrating than to pull into a campground or go into a hotel motel that offers free Wi-Fi and you just can't get on. Well, I've created Wi-Fi on steroids. Come on inside and let me show you how it works. Welcome to my Redwood 38. It's a residential unit. And here's the device we're going to get ready to connect to the uh, Wi-Fi hotspot here in the campground. So we start by just plugging it in simply. Any outlet will do. You're going to see uh, the lights are going to go on and it's going to re reset and it's going to start to connect to the computer. Once it connects to the computer screen and we see it on the computer, then we can connect it to the Wi-Fi hotspot. So follow me over to the computer and let's show you how easy this is to do. So here we are at the laptop. We're going to go down here and we're going to see what different Wi-Fi's are available and you see right here the second one is Wireless N and Wireless N is the device we just plugged in. So we're going to click on that and we're going to connect to Wireless N. Now it might take a minute or two, a few seconds. Uh, right now it's uh, connecting to Wireless N. It looks like we have full bars. It's connected, but we only have limited availability at this point. It says connected and it looks like full bars but there's a yellow triangle is going to show up. There it is right there. So now what we have to do is we have to connect the device to the Wi-Fi hotspot. So come over to your screen. I'm going to open up eBay. Any browser window will be do, will do for the for your purposes but I'm going to go up here to the IP address in the browser window and I'm going to backspace that out and take it out and I'm going to put in the number 192 period 168 period 10 period 253 and then I'm going to press enter now we're bringing up the admin page that will find the Wi-Fi hotspot that you want to connect to. Your username is admin, A-D-M-I-N, and your password is admin, A-D-M-I-N, and that's all lowercase. And then you're just going to hit enter. Now at the campground, you're going to use either the repeater wizard or the wireless ISP. If your campground has a password and a landing page, you're going to use the repeater wizard. My campground here does not have a landing page. It's uh, free Wi-Fi, same as uh, most campgrounds, so I'm going to choose the wireless ISP. And when this screen comes up, you want to check the box that says Wireless Expansion Enable. And here we are. It's going to show all your connections. Now, I want to password protect this, so I'm going to take the extended SSID up that's wireless and I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to put in my own initials, GD. And then I'm going to come to the security mode, and I'm going to choose WPA2 personal. That's going to open up another box to where I can put in a password. So a password of my choosing and you're going to do the same. Now you're going to scroll down and you're going to find the Wi-Fi hotspot for the campground. Uh, this is SJRV guests and when I come over here I see it says no that means it has no password and we have a 100 percent signal so I'm gonna select that particular Wi-Fi hotspot then I'm gonna come down here and I wanna save and reboot and that is going to allow 
the, the, the device to connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot. And it might take a couple seconds, it's not a problem. It's working pretty quickly. You notice down here you still uh, do not have a signal, but you will have in just a few more minutes. Remember, if it has a landing page, use the repeater and check I agree to access. And now you're going to come up to a screen that says there is no internet connection. Well, that's not true because we're going to go down here and we're going to open up and you see the GD that I just created. I'm going to go ahead and connect to GD and I'm going to connect to that uh, new, that new uh, Wi-Fi address that I just created. And here in about a minute, you're going to go down here and you're going to see GD, full bars. So you have internet access, it's connected. And again, you see full bars. So now you can go up, you can surf the web, you can do face-to-face, -face, you can do Skype, you can watch movies, you can download your emails, and you're always going to have full bars. Now, if you have any problems with this uh, access, just call the free tech support at 844-333-WIFI, and I'll be happy to help you get connected. So, welcome to your Wi-Fi on steroids.